back to my channel so this video has kind of been on my heart for quite some time and I always said that I was gonna do it like closer to the time of graduation it was like a one-year post-grad reflection and I had actually forgotten about the video for a while until I got a call from my friend who was asking me if it was still possible to walk um, if she technically wasn't like graduating like she hadn't finished her credits and so like how most colleges go is that you can walk and still like have credits you apply to graduate like in the beginning of the year so they are under the assumption that by the time you hit May that you have you would have fulfilled all your credits and sometimes things just don't go as planned and that's basically what happened to her it happened to me as well um, and so she was really concerned because she thought that she wouldn't be able to walk. She had already invited her family, planned her graduation, celebration, and all that. And so I was basically telling her that everything is going to be okay. You can definitely still walk, definitely have that special moment because it is very important. Um, and then you just finish over the summer. Like, literally, that's what I did. And so after that conversation, I kind of realized that um, this was a part of my story that I definitely needed to tell because a lot of people um, go through this where they think they're graduating, they have everything in plan, and then like maybe a few months or even weeks, things kind of go sideways and kind of how to deal with that. You have your family asking, oh, when's graduation? When do I need to come out? Um, like all those questions that build up a lot of pressure and anxiety. I know for me, it was probably the worst time of my senior year. Um, so I just wanted to sit down, talk, tell my story and how I got through it and possibly help somebody, anybody that going through that right now now that it's graduation and you feel all the pressure you see all the people graduating like but before I even start I really just want anybody who is going through this where they thought they would be walking and they're not to know that this is your own personal journey like things happen like college I wish they wouldn't promote that college is like a four-year thing now because I don't even think that's the standard anymore um, and it's not the end of the world. Um, you are not less than. You are doing what is best for you. So, with that being said, um, basically, I did not graduate on time. And what on time was for me was four years in. And then May 2018, I would be walking across the stage. I also did not walk. So, I really just finished and got my degree um some months later but what basically happened was second semester of my senior year i was taking 18 credit hours um don't know why but i did oh i i mean i do know why i had taken two 12 hour 12 credit hour semesters and then i didn't take any summer classes so it was kind of like the hours had accumulated and so to get out in four years I basically was like I'm gonna just do it all it's gonna be okay so I was taking like six classes um that was like the worst decision I probably could have made and I've done some questionable things in college but that was the worst and it was also my first semester my really only semester of being Greek because I had just crossed um that last November and so of course I was really excited like I wanted to do everything in the chapter. I did do everything in the chapter, and I really didn't have that school, Greek, everything else balance. Like, everything was all over the place, and that was really my fault because I kind of let everything get all over the place, um, and I didn't know how to say no, and I was also, well, I wasn't, by that time, I had passed down her campus because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to uphold my position as president and so that was one thing I did responsibly but I was still like trying to do as much as possible in every realm of like my college life and I literally did not have any kind of balance but yeah, I was putting a lot into like being in part of the chapter and I was still doing what I needed to do um in school and I was still like going to class I still um did my assignments but I kind of at one point I kind of let my assignments build up and I wasn't 
putting as much energy into finishing and completing my assignments that I should have been because I was trying to graduate. Like, <laughs> graduation was, it was still there, but it wasn't like, I have to do this to graduate kind of thing. I just knew that I was going to graduate. I don't, I didn't know how, but I knew I was going to graduate. So fast forward um, to about like spring break time, maybe spring break or early April when basically April is like the end of the year because we don't do anything in May. So I realized because it was after the midpoint. So by the midpoint, it's sink or swim. Like you can, if you see your grades are going in a bad direction by midpoint, your teachers will work with you and be like, you can do this and this to get it up. Um, so it wasn't bad at the midpoint, but I knew that I needed to get on the ball with just one of my classes to finish it up and be able to complete all my credits because literally there was no like wiggle room for me I had to finish all six classes to graduate and so there was just one class that I knew I had kind of fell off in it was an elective which makes me so upset when I think about it now it was an elective it was a speech class that I had kind of fell off on the assignments because she gave like a lot of in-class assignments and they always so happen to me on the days that I just didn't go to class. So I know I always go to class. Um, and so I had fallen majorly behind during that point. And so I was trying my hardest to make up all the assignments. She was definitely willing to work with me, but it was like a final group project that I just couldn't get like a grasp of. I think the original issue was I had missed the day that we did group assignments and for the project and I didn't get assigned to a group and I kept trying to reach out, kept trying to do this and third and then at the end it was just like there was no group <laughs> for me to be assigned and so I asked her if I could do the project by myself because I'm just like <laughs> if I don't have a group then I don't really care. I don't like group project and she told me no <laughs> which was dumb but what else and so she told me no and that was literally the final group project there was nothing I could really do the only option I had was to take it incomplete because if there was no final she couldn't give me a grade because there was nothing to finish off my grades for so I had to get it incomplete which meant I was like two credits short of fulfilling all my um credits to graduate and that's kind of when I realized that I was not going to be graduating or I was not going to be finishing in May. Now, the day I realized this, it was a lot going on that day. Like that weekend, I know the chapter was having like our senior celebration, which is basically where everyone in the chapter comes, celebrates the seniors, get a gift, all that fun stuff. That's when I kind of felt like the weight of what my reality was, which I was not going to be graduating. I would not be finished the day I walked um and so that's when I kind of started getting into my just it was a slump like I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to talk to anybody I was really just like banged up on myself like I didn't care because it was just like I didn't feel like I earned it like I didn't earn the right to walk like we had taken our senior pictures with my line sisters I didn't really want to post them because I wasn't really graduating. I didn't submit my um, picture to be posted on the chapter page to like celebrate the graduates. Like I didn't do any of that because I personally felt like I didn't deserve it. I called my mom. I let her know the situation. She was disappointed in me because I mean, it's mom. She was disappointed in me, but the thing about my mom, she has her moments and then she goes, she's like, okay, how can we fix this? And so that's when we started talking about like what I needed to do over the summer, how we would pay for it, the seventh and third. And so we started getting in solution mode. And then that's when I had to start telling like the rest of my family, my friends, my line sisters. And I mean, everybody was understanding, but they were also trying to convince me to walk. And I was just like, no, because I'm the most dramatic person in the world. But I really was just like, I don't even want to do it. There's like no, there's no like satisfaction in knowing that. I am done when I'm not really done 
And I mean, people, of course, people still walk and still take summer classes and just graduate in the summer. But I'm just like, I'm really the type of person where if it's not all done, said and done, I'm an all or nothing person. If it's not all said and done, then it's not enough for me. So I just got really in a slump. I got really sad. I didn't go to the senior celebration. Um, we learned, they learned the graduation step. I didn't go to practice. I was really hard on myself and that's when I was just over it. <laughs> Part of me, I had a moment where I didn't even know if I wanted to do summer classes. I was just like, do I even care to finish and to get my degree? Like, is it even worth it? And honestly, looking back, that moment, like those moments, I definitely regret not doing it. I regret not going to the senior celebration. I regret not like walking. I regret not celebrating because it even though I didn't technically like finish school, it was I had still reached that sort of towards the finish line. I had still got to that point where I could celebrate everything that I had accomplished because literally the only thing I needed to do was go to class. I had accomplished everything I said I was going to do in college. Like I had reached the end of my college experience. I just need to take one class that I ended up taking in the summer. I ended up getting an A, got my degree. It was <laughs> it was copacetic. But I regret not sharing those moments with like my friends and family. I regret not even reaching out and letting them know I'm walking like I didn't send out an invitation I didn't do anything and I completely regret it because I definitely deserved like I had put so much work into school I put so much work into my um extracurriculars I put so much work into Georgia State that I deserve to celebrate the end of a chapter a really big chapter that has shaped so much of who I am today um I deserve to celebrate that and I didn't um but after I had graduated well after I had finished my class and after I had um technically officially graduated it was in July and so I really just felt like bleh I I just felt like it was just another task on my to-do list I um I mean I took my graduation pictures in July and I posted them in July everyone's so happy fun fun all that stuff but I still felt like there was something missing and as I've gone through this year post-graduation I've definitely learned so much about who I am what makes me happy and kind of where not even kind of where I know I need to go and where my focus needs to go so after graduation I was allotted a six-month break <laughs> thanks mom a six month break to kind of figure out what I wanted to do next because I didn't really have a plan like everything once I found out I didn't graduate like my plan kind of derailed I wasn't really looking for a job um I didn't really have a concrete idea I didn't have any job offers like it just was what it was and I wanted to be a full-blown entrepreneur like I thought that I was just going to buckle down and make it happen and that did not go <laughs> as planned at all because I didn't have a plan like I literally I launched Allegiant 31 which I'm so glad that I did I'm so glad that I took that moment to really secure that in my heart and in my journey and I will n never want to take that part back because that's when I started building up the momentum that's when I started taking myself as a content creator very seriously um, but I didn't have any consistency. I didn't really have any time management. I didn't really, um, have a pathway that I wanted to go on. So I was kind of just freeballing it. Um, and I'm not a person to freeball. I'm literally a type A, need to write it down, need to have a plan, or I just won't do it. So the six months was really hard. Luckily, I was living at home. Like, I didn't have to worry about any bills, but my phone bills and a lesion was keeping me afloat. Like, keeping me afloat. But I knew I wasn't consistent enough. I wasn't motivated enough. I was really just in a slump because I didn't know what direction I was going in. To the point where it would make me enough money to save up, to pay off my credit cards, to um, basically have a livable income. 
And so that was a really harsh reality because, you know, on social media, you see the whole, you can do it, you just have to be consistent, you can do it, you just have to stick to it. Like, no. That's when my whole, like, purpose of as told by Tay as everything shifted when I realized, like, that is not everyone's reality. Like, and it takes time to get to that point where you can actually just, like, do it. Like, most of the people I've heard that go full-blown entrepreneur have, like, a good ten to $20,000 saved up. So they can at least, like, live. They're not just, like, starting at zero. And so I had a savings account of zero, and I had to spend everything that I earned because I wasn't making, like, a consistent paycheck. And so I had to just be an adult and realize that this is not the life I'm going to live. I definitely did not want to be in my mom's house for longer than a year and a half. I knew that I definitely didn't want to feel like I didn't have any cushion. I knew I definitely didn't want to be in debt with my credit cards. Like, I didn't want that. And that's what I felt. And I just felt that pressure. That same pressure I felt in May, I felt it right now going into my adulthood. And that's when I just had to, like, stop. <laughs> that's when I kind of realized I just had to, like, figure out a way to make it happen. The same way I figured out how I was going to graduate over the summer with still working because I was still at Red Bull um, and still taking my class and still making sure I graduated. Like, I made that happen, paid for it. Um, I was going to make it happen. Pay off my credit card debt that had accumulated over four years. Um, I was going to have be able to comfortably live and pay all my monthly bills and still be able to freely design and create and figure out my flow with having a cushion where I wasn't just trying to like push out I wasn't accepting every client that didn't align with me like I wasn't just doing it just to make money I was doing it because I wanted to grow my brand like I had to figure it out and that's when I got my job my full-time job and when I started getting those consistent full-time paychecks and everything, it just felt like a weight was lifted off. I have been so blessed these past, like, since 2019 hit, I have been so blessed. Like, recently I've just been thinking about how blessed I've been um, to be at this point where it's just like, even when things don't go the way I plan, they probably went perfectly how God planned them. And I can still wake up and be happy. Like, I am genuinely happy. <clears throat> of course, there are things I want to improve on in my life. But I am so content. I just can feel the blessings that are coming in. I can feel the work, the results of the work I have been putting in. I can feel my value just growing and growing. And now that I'm seeing everyone graduate and I'm seeing like people um, get these job offers, I'm seeing people like go into this new chapter of their lives, I'm realizing that things probably wouldn't have been how they are now if I, basically if I graduated. <laughs> Honestly, if I would have graduated on time, I would not have a Legion 31. I know I wouldn't because I would have been so focused on just finding a full-time job. Um, I wouldn't have had that like mindset of figure it out. Um, I would have just settled with some job, hopefully would have been in my um, field, maybe not, who knows, but I wouldn't have had that drive in that go time mentality that was set when I found out your girl wasn't walking. Um, and I'm actually grateful for that. Like, it is what it is. Like, it happened, but now I am stronger from it, and I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the time that God had me spend, kind of, <laughs> it felt like rock bottom. It wasn't really rock bottom, but, um, it felt like I was at my lowest, and that's when I had to lean the most on him, and kind of, not even kind of, just let him be like, okay, like, you got it. This is, this is just, this, it is what it is. And how are we going to move forward from this? Tell me what I need to do to move forward. And so if you are a graduate <clears throat> or if you are a, supposed to have graduated 
in May, but you realize that you have to graduate in the summer, maybe you even have to take a fall class. Like, just understand that everything happens for a reason. And I know that is the most cliche thing to say, but like, <clears throat> it it's true. Like, there's nothing I can really say to persuade you to think that <laughs> I don't mean it, but literally, like, you will graduate when God says it's the right time for you to graduate. You will close this chapter, which is college, when it is the right time. Like, things don't always align how you think they are. Like, that four-year, like I said before, that four-year mentality, it's great. Like, of course, everyone wants to graduate in four. A lot of people want to graduate in three, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Like, you are still going to get your degree you are still going to reach that end goal and you are still going to have that pride that you finished because college is a such a big achievement because not everybody makes it the, like not everybody makes it here not everyone can afford it like it is such a big achievement and so you have to be proud of yourself you have to understand that you did everything you could do and you needed to do to get to this point now just do everything you need to do to get to the very, very end. And you never know what can happen between now and when you finally finish that last credit. Like, you don't know how your life can shift. You don't know what opportunities come from you having to take those one or two classes. Like, things happen. And, like, the pressure of the whole, what are you going to do after college? Like, yes, definitely have a plan don't have like a full I mean you don't have to have like a full written out plan from month one to like month 12 but do have those little action items of what you want to do to get to where you want to be and let God guide you because he will maneuver you if he doesn't if he thinks this is not for you he will remove it or he will detour you to where you need to be but definitely have a focal point and know this is where I want to be. This is the life I want to live. This is the career I want to go to. So these are the steps I'm going to take. And if God sees something better for me, because he always does, then so be it and let him guide you. Um, after graduation, for graduates, Lord, just adulting, I'm actually having fun. Like, it's stressful, but it's definitely fun. Like, I'm in the process of trying to move out and it's such a blessing because I just moved back home less than a year ago and I'm already trying to move out I knew and this is my first time really like reflecting and thinking about it but I said that this year I would buy a car like within the year that I graduated I would get a car and then I would get um I would make a large investment in myself and my business um, like I would literally think about it all the time the day like I buy a car and the day that I make this investment and so yes me buying a car wasn't like my <laughs> it wasn't something I wanted to do at the time because I totaled my car but when I think back about it I think about the blessing that I'm able to afford my car because I can literally pay my car note and not feel like oh my god I don't have any money left and it's a blessing and so I have a car in my name and then the investment I made for myself I bought um, an iMac um, and that's not just like I pray that I get to the day where I can just toss a thousand dollars for something but I knew that I would make that return because I was taking myself seriously and taking my craft seriously and holding myself accountable because it's literally right in front of my bed so when I wake up I look at that I'm just like you need to make back what you just spent on this and I said that I was gonna buy that and make that investment and I did so I am literally moving in the direction that I said I made these plans for myself and I am here and I just am so grateful for the journey that I have been on in this short year of it's not I haven't even hit a year technically technically I'll hit a year in July but I have just made so many improvements with my health so many improvements with my mindset so many improvements with just like understanding who I am and what makes me happy that I I'm literally just like you can really only go up from here like there's so much I still want to do and there's so much I'm going to do like at this point, I'm not going to hit the whole 
definitely making the series steps to travel more. And then because I'm no longer in a relationship, <laughs> um, kind of figuring out like moving forward my dating life, like who, not really who, but how and what my boundaries are and setting those boundaries with romantic relationships, platonic relationships, business relationships. Like that's the kind of, that's the next step that I'm in right now because it's a crazy life out here. <laughs> it's very exciting. It's very fun. I love not being in school. I've been thinking about going back and so we'll just kind of let that go as it needs to but right now I'm just I'm just along for the ride and so that's what you really gotta be on like when things get thrown at you you just gotta take it absorb it and push out the the actions to keep it going like you can't dwell on it for too long like I hate that I let me not walking dwell so much that I took away those moments of celebration and achievement that I just didn't want to like oh oh I never will ever do that again like now I'm to the point where if something goes wrong I literally like I I let myself feel the feelings but then I'm like okay what can I do <laughs> to move past it and what can I do to grow from it what do I need to take from this and so to the graduates or to anybody that feels a little stuck just know that you will not always be stuck you have to persevere you have to get past it because the world still goes on like life does not stop because something doesn't go your way at all like you either you ride along with life and you take it and you go with it or you get held back and you're just letting life pass you by which is not fun at all and so you have to grow up grow up just a little bit because things are just not going to be fixed for you you have to make the effort to fix it yourself and you have to make the effort to be the best version of yourself and want the best for yourself because when you want better for yourself you're going to feel that drive to make things happen like oh if you know you want to get from point a to point b like you will feel that fire in you to make things happen to reach out to those people to apply to those jobs to save that coin like you will make the effort to want better for yourself all the time um and that's really it that's like how i feel as a post-grad that's like my one year post-grad update it's it is what it is but that is really like my one year post-grad take on things just do what you need to do and do what you said you were gonna do and make things happen so i know i haven't posted a video in a long time and i keep saying that every time because it's such a long gap when i post videos but i'm definitely creating like a more consistent schedule i promise it's just oh it's just a lot but it's okay because i'm managing it um but catch up on my past videos they don't really have a specific time you can just watch them whenever. Just stay updated with everything. Definitely posting some new content. But yeah, I'll be posting a lot on the site. Um, I'll be posting a lot here. So, you know, just stay updated. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.